so probably most active fans have already heard. But for those in the more passive end of the Dune fandom, yes, it's official. These are from credible sources. Florence is being considered for Uriolan. She's in talk for that role. And Butler is in talks to play Faid. And I'm sort of mixed on both of them. But of course, really, Butler is the complete wild card because I don't think anyone, and I've tried to check out the other channels, I'm active on Twitter. I've done fan casting of my own and looked at the other videos doing fan casting. I don't think anybody picked him. But let's get to Florence first, who is relatively more well known. She's been in Black Widow most recently. She also did a short stint on Hawkeye. She was a major guest star there. And she has a history with Timothee. They did Little Women together. But her most famous role probably recently is really Midsommar. That's the most critically acclaimed one. And I agree with most people. It was very powerful, and I really liked her in that one. Although I was very mixed on the movie. It's a very odd, disturbing kind of black comedy on cults. So she's definitely talented, and she's been in a lot of good things. But she's also been in a lot of bad things. And her version of Yelena, the sister of Black Widow, didn't really work for me. I found her mostly annoying. She was pretty funny in certain scenes, and she definitely has the physical prowess, and she does have a lot of good acting chops, but but will she be a great Uriolan? Hmm, unclear. I also thought it was a very strange thing, because she does sort of match, in certain ways, Virginia Madsen, and the way David Lynch had the look for Uriolan, but I don't know if they're going to stick to that, or do some very different designs for her. Is she going to be doing the journal entries? Again, they have the time now, so they can do a lot of things that they weren't able to do with the sci-fi version or even the Lynch version. But at least I can say I'm hopeful that it will be a good performance. It'll be very solid. But like many people, I was kind of disappointed. I thought we were going to get Anya or some of the people I picked, maybe even Zoe Kravitz. So, yeah, it's a little puzzling that he went with uh, Florence. I guess it makes sense in terms of the budget. They can't spend too much, and yes... She's relatively famous. I'm sure she's very well paid, but you know she's not Julia Roberts. She can't demand 20 million per role. And that leads us to Austin. And I guess the most generous thing is question mark because I'm like, hmm, huh. because the big names in the running were Pattinson, Barry Keegan, Harry Styles, you know Adam Driver. You go through the list. People like that. Maybe even Jake Gyllenhaal. They could have just done a little de-aging with him. And and putting aside his level of fame is not as huge as these other people. Physically, I thought they were going to, yes, cast somebody with a kind of lean build. But I thought they were going to be a, list, a little bit bigger or stronger against Timothee and have some kind of contrast. So I'm a little puzzled as to why this person was chosen. Maybe this is like a Fincher thing that Denny has just gone through his CV much more carefully than we have, and he's been very impressed with his work. I barely know him, but he has been here a while. His most recent roles have been playing Elvis. He has done a, he has done some stuff. He has done a few things in the science fiction genre, but yeah, I, I expected them to go with, again, not necessarily my favorite picks, but Bill Skarsgård, Driver, Pattinson, Keegan, they would have fit more in terms of the physicality and age range, but I don't know, maybe he is one of these relatively unknown talents, but if you know his work, it's just mind-blowingly good, but he's just not a big name that people talk about. That one is, yeah, that one's a big question mark. I'm just going to do more research, look at his roles, and try to judge him fairly. But certainly, uh, some good parts of this is, I don't think anybody's going to make for at least a while, these kind of moronic woke videos and doom going woke, doom going woke, woke, woke. This casting doesn't fit that stereotype. There's also just a lot of funny things about this because, of course, the Butlerian Jihad, if you know the uh, mythology. And so there's probably going to be tons of funny memes with his last name and the Butlerian Jihad. So there are a lot of positive aspects to this, but overall, I, yeah, I'm just like, utterly befuddled. At least with Florence, I can kind of see it, because she did something with Timothee. She's young, she's talented. She's not my idea of Aurelon, but she could obviously do the role, whereas with Mr. Butler, but with Mr. Butler, I'm like, yeah, just a question mark. I'm like, huh? Why? Where? When? Uh, what? But we'll see. Um, 
really the major thing I've gotten from the fans is disappointment that Anya was not cast. But and yeah, for Fee, this is a big role, and I don't know, I don't know. So, but again, got a long way to go. These are just talks. It's not even confirmed that they're doing the role. They're just talking about doing the role. So we have to be very careful. We're ways off before even production begins, and then we get the trailer, et cetera, et cetera, and have a better idea of the script. But yeah, with Florence, not my ideal pick, but I can see it. But with Butler, I'm like, I don't know. I'm open-minded about it, but I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And that's where we stand with casting for Dune Part 2. Thank you for listening.